Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Lina. Welcome back to another video. Happy New Year! <laughs> well, this is not going up in the New Year, but still, Happy New Year! So, we're going to do my January TBR. As always, I'm going to use my TBR game. If you're new here, I've been doing this game for a couple of months. I was going to change it this month, but I didn't really have the time to make another board. So we're going to stick with it for a little bit longer. And before we get started, I did complete my TBR for last month. As I'm recording this, it's the 28th of December. And here's the thing. I only have um, three books left. I'm currently reading two. And I have decided to move uh, one of the books towards basically the new month because I don't want to rush through this book. And that's Rhythm of War. So I, I have decided to just read it on January. Really, I'm not going to punish myself because I'm just going to move it to January. That's it. And also, I really hope that I don't get that many like books this month because I have my finals the last week of January. So I don't think I'll be reading that much. Like, at all. You know what? As always, every time that I say that, I just ended up being so fucked up that, yeah, whatever. So without further ado, let's just get started. One thing before I keep, we get started. I know that something might be looking a little bit weird it's just because I'm trying a new angle so this might not be perfect or it might not even stick for the next one I'm just trying we'll see if I like the result we oh, really <laughs> already as always we start with just one I would really I really like like a small book if I'm being honest oh wait a second Let's add it to the TVR. Wait, I had a bunch of them the other day. Fuck. Okay, so the last added book to the TVR. This is so stupid. I have already owned this book since, I don't know, October or November. Bengali was giving away some arcs of um, the Forever King and I asked for one because I really like Bengali. So he sent it to me. And I didn't add it to my, I didn't add the book to my TBR on Goodreads for some reason. And yesterday I remember because I was just like, I really need to get into this book, which has already come out by the way. And, and that's it. That's the book, The Forever King by Ben Cali. <laughs> if I'm being honest, I really don't know much about this. I know that it's a sequel series to The Written. I remember it's a previous uh, trilogy by this author and that's mostly it. I do know that I can go into this book without having read the first trilogy, so if I really like this one, I will go back and read the first trilogy. But we're going to start with this because I really want to read it. I really want to say, hey, Ben, this book was great. So we're going with this one. Let's go with, wait, wait. Oh, <laughs> shout out to Maddie for sending my cats this. They're crazy with this. Get away. Will you go? You up? Okay, through number two. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bookshelf number one. That's a big one. Whoo. Now this is interesting, you see? Because there's one book there that I really want to read. So for bookshelf number one, which is the brown one up there, is the is the biggest one? I think it's the biggest one. Even though this has more books because I have all my uh, small paperbacks here? Yeah, you have already seen the book. Damn it. So, for bookshelf number one, I'm choosing The Deep by Rivers Solomon. This is a short novella about killer mermaids. Apparently, it also touches on the theme of slavery. So, I'm super intrigued to read this one. I've heard only incredible things about it. So, I'm extra excited for it. But it's also really short. So <laughs> Yeah, that's maybe one of the reasons why I chose this, yes. But I don't really need like small books this month, like please, I, <laughs> I need them. <laughs> so, through number three. <laughs> I have a crazy cat right beside me, <laughs> I'm scared. Man, man, why? There we go. So I would really like, I wouldn't mind, dude, my camera might be moving around. I'm so sorry. So <laughs> I was saying, 
I wouldn't mind like E2 for uh, 5 plus pages, but uh, I don't really feel like the lowest rated. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, nah. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. If book by a Spanish author. I was telling you that I'm going to choose a book by a Spanish author, but I'm not going to do that because the book that I want to read, I lend it. Because I lended it to my step grandmother. So I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm going to choose a book by a Spanish author, but I'm going to choose a book that I own in Spanish. And for this, I'm just going to choose Malazan by Steven Erikson because I'm participating on a body read. Well, it's not a body read. It's a read along that is going to take two years to be completed. Yeah, that's... Yeah, but I really want to get back into Malazan. I have read this book three times already. This is going to be the fourth one. I really hope that I can actually understand it this time. Like, I really hope that I can grasp everything this time. I will take, I will be taking notes in all that shit. But yeah, I will link um, Mike's channel down below because he's hosting the read along. I do really need to read this one in Spanish so I can actually understand everything. <laughs> but man, this is such a hard book. Like. Pfft. If you don't read that much fantasy, I will never go into Malazan because holy shit. Holy shit. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't really mind any of the prompts that I have here. This site is, a, is like a really good site. One, two, three, four. A Twitter poll. Ooh. So for Twitter poll, I'm going to choose, uh, well, I have already chosen three books. I don't know if I'm going to just pick another one. Maybe not. We have been in this place before <laughs> on previous TBRs, but first, The Left-Handed Booksellers of London by Garth Nix, which I'm dying to read. I'm dying to read this book, okay? So this is going to be option number one. Then The Library of the Origin, which I'm also dying to read by A.J. Hockwith. I'm dying to get into this one, like, oh. This is going to be option number two. And another gem for option number three, The Bone Ships by R.J. Barker. Yes, yes. But should I throw a fourth one? I think I'm just going to stick with these three. Uh, I'm going to pull up the poll in a couple of days, probably. And if I have the results by the time that I'm uploading this video, I will put it. If not, then it's going to be a surprise. <laughs> This is already so long. I have four books already. Holy shit. <sighs> I was getting desperate <laughs> for a second. <laughs> Thank God. Please, anything but a four or a six. I don't really feel like a classic right now. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. In the book. Yay! So, for an indie book, this is great because uh, one of my goals for this year is to read at least two indie books a month. Like, I really want to get back into self-publishing indie books. So, for this, I'm choosing Hell on Mars. I don't remember the name of the author right now, but I really want to read this uh, horror science fiction novella. It's actually really short again. Great! So, I've been wanting to read this since I saw it on Rachel's channel, Shades of Orange. She's a great sci-fi and horror reader and oh my god, this looks like the type of science fiction horror that I love. So I think it's going to be amazing. The only thing that I know is that it takes place on Mars and it's a kind of survival horror. That's it. Can you tell how much I know about every single book that I have chosen this month? It's incredible. Okay, I think he's just... My, my cat is just hunting the fish right beside you so you might move around a little bit. <laughs> Okay, um, I'm also fine with mostly everything here. Yeah, yeah. Five, one, two, three, four, five. Art slash fancy. So I may or may have not cheated a little bit with this one because when I usually get the square for art slash fantasy, I just go around the site for a bit and see what's kind of popular that day and then I choose that one. But today I cheated a bit. I directly searched the name of this book in there to see if someone was talking about it. Because I do want to read this book this month and I don't want an extra book this month. So I searched 
The Wall of Storms by Ken Liu. I'm fucking reading the second book in the Dandelion Dynasty this month. Like, yeah. <laughs> I'm missing this series so much. I thought that the first book was brilliant. We have been here a while. You know that I love that one. It's going to be in a great list this week, you know? Like, yeah. But I freaking adored it. One of my friends is currently reading it and she's also loving it, which is making me so happy. But yeah, it's happening. Basically, on the first one, we follow Emperor Mapidre and he basically conquers this whole um, this whole land, amazing empire, and then he's about to die. And when he does, different parts of this realm start to rebel, others stay loyal to the empire, and we want to follow two different characters. One of them is Kuni, who is a fucking super funny great character, you know, he has a lot of growth in this series, he's so good. He's kind of a con artist, a thief, whatever you want to call him, he has done that. And then we're also going to follow Mata, he is the son of one of the lords that used to rule one of the kind of countries slash realms before Mapitre came in and slaughtered everyone basically. So he has been uh, raised his whole life to basically take down the empire and that's what he wants to do. So it's a great complex book, I loved The Grace of Kings, this is actually a little bit bigger. <laughs> the other one is 600 something pages and this is 800, 800. Still, I'm going to read this. I, I'm so excited. I, I really want to read this. Throw number seven, six. I'm, I'm lost. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, we're finally doing this. Oh, it's not nine, it's 11. I'm so. I'm... Wow. <laughs> we go here. And now it's the last one, so we have to use only one. Don't don't you dare. And we're in. This, that was like the fastest that I have ever done this game. Like, hell yeah. The last one, I haven't grabbed it yet. I'm, I'm dumb. It's going to be Lord of Secrets by Brianna Deinze. Deinze? I'm not 100% sure, but since I hold this book, which I bought knowing nothing about and never heard anyone talk about, one of you constantly said to me that this book is extremely underrated, that it's actually super good, and I hear you, you know, and I told you that I was going to read it ASAP in January, and I'm going to do it 100%. It's, it's actually quite short also, which is great for a fantasy, you know, I'm really excited. I know that book two is out already and it has been out for a while, so I can jump into that one if I really love this one, but I'm super excited. I know nothing about this book. <laughs> the only thing that I, I, I think I remember is that we follow a mage and he in in and someone is in prison and he's trying to break them out. I might be making this up, but I really want to read this. I, I love underrated books, you know, I love finding new underrated books that are actually fantastic, like, oh, I love that. But yeah, Lord of Secrets is happening. Also going to be participating on a buy read this month. We're going to read the the Hexarchute Histories by Jun Ha Lee, which is a collection of short stories set on the world of Nine Fox Campy. What a third book. What a third book. I, I will not, I'm not saying anything else, but what a third book. Oh, oh. The three of us love this book. Well, this book, this world, this everything so much that we have decided to read these short stories. And I'm going to buddy read this with Angela from Literature Science Alliance and with Kayla from Crack into a Good Book. And it's going to be amazing. I'm super excited. In the first book of Machineries of Empire, we follow uh, Captain Cherries and she is tasked with retrieving this fortress called the Fortress of Thousand Needles. I, I, did I say that right this time? <laughs> and for that, she's going to use the help of General Jitao, who is like a legendary figure in this in this people's history because he has never lost a battle. He's a master in strategy. He's also a bit suicidal. He's also a bit like a killer, you know. But it's great. Their chemistry is everything, and I just love it so much. But yeah, I'm so excited for this one. So yeah, I basically know almost anything about the books. And I love that. I love that. I know I love going to a story not knowing much. Like, oh, best feeling ever. But yeah, that's basically going to be it. I really hope that I can make that I can make it and read all these books. But if I'm being honest, if I fail this month, I won't punish myself next month because I have so many things to do. 
<laughs> and so many things to study this month so i'm going to take it like lightly but man some of these books i really want to read like really want to read then I'll, I'll be back on february and be just like oh i read 20 books in january because i'm that type of person but again i'm not going to force myself <laughs> so please have you read any of these books i know that it makes you happy that i'm choosing lord of secrets but that's going to be all for today guys i will see you as always in the next one bye Thank you.